I got my pal Oakley right there. Tell us about it. Talk to us, Oakley. What do you think about this hurricane? What do you think about the hurricane coming? You scared? Circles is always screaming at somebody. Yeah, this. I'm trying to get this here. This is pretty. Oh, sorry, I was staring at the screen to get back to eye autofocus instead of uh, box focus. Whatever I call it, box focus. <laughs> This is pretty nuts. This is really, really crazy. This storm is so massive. And for the past couple of days, it was being predicted to be going more towards Tampa. There's a very strong high pressure. I've like been a real novice hurricane tracker since maybe 1994 when I first started surfing in hurricanes. I surf in hurricanes until my early 30s, like consecutively. So I'm very familiar with how these storms go, how they build. And as this one, I saw the low, uh, the high pressure and the moisture that was already over Florida pulling the storm in. I had a feeling it was going to be a little lower. It's yet still kind of up in the air. It's like a 50-50. No matter what, we're going to get blasted with at least 100 mile per hour winds. So this is going to be pretty intense. We have everything inside the house. My biggest concern is that these windows are not storm windows. They're just regular windows. And we don't have the shutters when we when we first moved in here The shutters were taken with the previous owner which sucks because these shutters are cut to fit Each individual window for this exact specific house. So yes, technically you can reuse Shutters that were custom fit for a house. You'll either Have to trim them or you'll just hack it on it'll be a hack job It won't be it won't match up identical if they're bigger then you can always trim them Regardless, it sucks. They're expensive and it's you know It's kind of the first storm since we've been here that we would really want them up. So we kind of blockaded the Back doors there and hoping that these windows hold up. I mean, I've got a window behind here and I just block this out I Block this out mainly because I don't want any light spilling in so I have a black curtain underneath and I've got this one just as decoration. And then you can see, well, you can't even see it so tight. I'm not gonna bother. But you can see up here that there's a, you know, a giant window behind there. I've got all of my electronics here. You know, my, I've got the gimbal. I've got the, uh, the, the uh, Mini 3 Pro. I've got some uh, cine glass right there. Yes, they're not the most expensive cine glass, but they're still, let me get my light. They're still pretty cool. Um, yeah, this thing is really low. Battery. They're still pretty cool, these things. So they're a lot of fun. These are the uh, Seven Artists in Spectrum series. You know, you've got I've got my, my Zoom H6. I've got my Follow Focus, you know, Walkie Talkies, all this. This is brand new. I started a whole separate YouTube channel for this Bamboo, uh, Bamboo A1 Mini. I've already, and I'm just about to, I'm just about to upload. Let me get some light, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Who's ever watching? Who's ever checking this madness out? Okay, so I had, sorry. I had, oh man, I'm, I'm lost there. Okay. Started a second YouTube channel with the 3D printer. I absolutely love this thing. It is so awesome to use. This is one of the most creative tools I've ever owned. This simple tool, I had this way back when I was in when I was in the mechanic world, when I was a, a tech. Even Oakley's interested. Look at him. Oakley, what do you think about the caliper tool? Do you like it? <laughs> It's sharp at the edge, buddy. Be careful. I'm gonna fix your eyeball. Come here. He gets these eye boogies. He gets these eye boogies, and then his eyes get blocked up. We don't want that, right? We want to see. We want to keep long vision. Okay. So <clears throat> this tool right here. Light. And maybe I'll block it down. <clears throat> this tool, you can either use it in millimeters too far away. You can use it in millimeters. You can use it in inches. What do they have? You've got 
millimeters, inches, and then uh, another another measurement. The millimeter measurement is the best one to use. Now look, I mean, I've already created, for instance, I designed a, a bowl for my dogs here, and I'm just doing some test prints. What I'm aiming for, I'm not gonna say out loud the, it, forget about the shape. The shape is one thing, super, super easy to figure out already complex uh, complex embossments and putting prints on the outside, meaning like designs and patterns, is something I'm working on as of right now. This thing is a simple idea that I had for, you know, for uh, puppies and different types of people. So check it out. You've got people who are Somebody who's, let's say, quote unquote, uh, well not quote unquote, I'm a retired mechanic. So somebody who's a mechanic, you've got mechanic puppies, you have office worker puppies, you've got any, you know, the surf dog, the, the sports dog. I have a bunch of things, and I'm just gonna leave it like that, for creating stuff through 3D printing for animals. This tool I've already used multiple times. I just, I'm about to post a short, I actually posted the video and what happened was it didn't go into short. It went into long form because it was like a minute and a half or like, I'm sorry, like a minute and two seconds. So I took it off and I trimmed it up in here. Good old DR. Now this, I had this filter in here when I got it. I had this garbage little piece of foam in there and it's a very good, it's a newer, you know, near, whatever, newer. It's a really decent filter. I don't really care so much that it's slapping around, but if I can create something that prevents that, why not, right? So boom, took two versions, the first version here. I took my measurement with the caliper tool and wherever I was, I'm not really sure if I'm focusing in here yet. Okay, wherever I was on this, I measured this, but I think I measured the inner thread, the 77 mil. So this is an 82, this is an 82 mil filter with a 77 to 83, 82, 83, whatever, 77 to 83 or 77 to 82 step up ring. So, and the reason why I did that was because this piece, this glass and most of the only two big glass that I have, including those little uh, cinema glass, they're all 77 mils. So I figured why not get something that's bigger for when I have a new lens that's 82 or actually, no, the seven artisans are 82. So if we check this out, long and short, check this. The goal was to create this and put it in there. So my measurement was off because I measured the 77, not the actual width of the filter. Second pass around, absolute perfection. Boom, goes in, locks in. I mean, everything you can think of. I've got so many projects right now that I'm working on with this tool. So, needless to say, it is a lot of fun, bear with me, it's a lot of fun to see it print, but it's even more fun to get into the CAD software and start creating. I've been using uh, Fusion 360 now for like a month and a half, tops, and I'm already in here doing screen recordings. Oh, so the light is a little blast in there. I'm already in here doing screen recordings of me building stuff. So for instance, I'm not gonna show it now, but the tool is fantastic. It is a lot of fun, like I mentioned, but the more important thing is you're able to solve problems with a product that you create. It is a like win-win times a thousand. So I've got that, I've got these lenses, I've got all of my like I mentioned, I have the, the Mini 3 Pro, I've got my RS2 gimbal, got that stuff. These are all really awesome books that I don't want destroyed. This is the Ableton Push 2, which I'm gonna start using more of because I wanna start doing my own music in the videos. Not all of the music, but uh, about two years ago, I did a podcast, right? I'm just throwing this right on top of my... Uh, my audio interface. A couple of years ago, I did a podcast and I, I was making my own music in the beginning, right? I was literally just uh, creating an Ableton, using the Ableton push to and creating. I'm like, my mind is racing a mile a minute, so bear with me. That thing is really cool. Creating your own music is fantastic and it's very simple once you get the hang of it. 
So the biggest issue I'm having right now is there's so many, I've got so many eggs in so many different baskets and I've really got to work that down. Not meaning I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop printing. I don't want to start, uh, stop filming. I don't want to st anything, stop doing sales calls. The goal is to break up my day into, you know, areas where I'm being productive on each section. And that's easier said than done because I have last winter and the same thing is happening now. I got very busy with the media and that's really cool. Like it's exciting. I, I, I did a lot of jobs and I, I learned a lot within a very short amount of time at the end of last year. So the same thing is already happening. I've literally just signed a, a new client on today and I'm working on nine new clients within the next week, basically. And if worse comes to worse, they'll get the back end of the year, meaning the last two months. But the goal was three months, the last three months, and then put them on a retainer from there, but have a three month contract. And that's it. It is been absolutely nuts. So everybody's freaking out about this, this storm. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be very cool about it and calm. It's really exciting to see how big these things get, but it puts it into perspective when it starts aiming right at you, right? Or in just a few, you know, 20 to 30 to 50 miles north of where you live. So that's kind of where I'm at. If I apologize if I haven't posted a ton of content, I'm gonna do my best to document this entire, uh, the next couple of days. I'm gonna do everything I can to get all the, you know, all the content I can just to document what we've experienced here. I'm sure nobody has missed the videos there in North Carolina, North Florida. You've got uh, Tennessee and I believe Georgia as well and South Carolina because one of, uh, one of my teammates lives in South Carolina and she had a ton of ton of issues with her home and all of this. So a ton, a huge thoughts and prayers go out to everybody out there. The, the amount of loss is, you know, unimaginable. And I had mentioned a few times, I actually mentioned it on my very short daily video today. It was just a kind of an update that I lived through that with Sandy and it was very scary, right? It was very scary to see everything disappear, everything you owned. But at the end of the day, it's all stuff that can be replaced. So, you know, fortunately, there's a lot of support up there right now. A lot of good Americans taking care of Americans, which I love to see. And other than that, just hunkering down here and, and hoping that we don't get a, a shit ton of damage, right? There's been a lot of damage. But in any case, that's where I, that's kind of where I've been at. I've been doing a lot of outbound. So I, my content production has been reduced for YouTube and I'm really working hard to produce content for more clients while doing sales. So it's a, there's a lot juggling, trying to keep everything in order and be able to, you know, make time for everything, right? And that's kind of where I'm at for the next couple of months. Isolate my days to where I can be very productive on each separate area in that section of the day. And then on the days where I get booked for media that I don't have control over, other than picking the day with the client, then it's okay, that day will just be reversed, right? Where that day will be focused on the media and then the other two aspects, other three, four aspects will be divided. So that has been the only issue I've, ever, I've had in the past couple of months is dividing the time from co you know creating content, creating content that people actually enjoy. I mean, I'm not the greatest content creator. I know I work hard at it. And that's the kind of thing that excites me, right? It's, you know, every time I make a video, I see it's better than the last. So I get excited that the videos are better so somebody can enjoy a better version of what I did the day before, right? So it's, it's a cool process and I've kind of, like my mindset on it last year was, I wanna get monetized, I'd love to, you know, create content and, you know, you get a paycheck from YouTube. While that's all great, you know, w w when that when that day happens on any of the channels I'm doing now, I'm, I'm good. Let me just show this. So that's it, right? Just uh, when it happens, it happens. Don't put it. I'm more I'm more excited about working with clients, right, than being monetized. When it happens, it, I, I don't give a fuck. Really, at this point, more important is to earn money, earn a living create an awesome business that my clients are excited to work with me, that I'm able to build my own team. That's something I've been really, really focused on and something that I really want to do now for the past six to eight months that I, I, I so want a team. I want to be able to divide this work and be able to hire outstanding, you know, A players 
fucking the best of the best mindset and the skills will come like that's the kind of it's like i don't care how skilled you are if you're ready to work hard awesome join a team we'll make it happen and most likely people know how to hold a camera it doesn't take it's it's not really rocket science it's just practice right i'm not saying that it comes you know anybody can you know be ansel adams or the other comparisons you know it really does take a lot of work and it's fun like you know last year i was working so hard you know gaining clients growing the you know working to grow the channel and it's you know create the content that you would want to watch that's the mindset like is it something that i would not want to click off of and if so then most likely this video is better than your previous ones so i did a couple of simple one the drone one i wasn't really too happy with just because i had, was limited on what i could show as far as the clips and the user generated one was cool it was a little short so other than that that's kind of what's been going on keep your uh, keep your thoughts for everybody in the carolinas and the previous hurricane hurricane helene that was very very brutal you know whatever happens here hopefully we're prepared for it enough and we'll be able to hang tight other than that, I will do my best to document everything that happens just for the sake of documenting it and see where we are in the next couple of days. So thank you for everybody's patience. I'm working hard to create a shit ton of content. Trust me, I have a lot of ideas that I've been writing down, dividing between this channel and the... 3D printing YouTube channel, and I also started just a vlog channel, just to kind of document my life type of deal. Like I turned 45, I wanna document the entire year, you know, judgment-free type of deal, like content where I can just, you know, a little bit similar to this, but not, you know, directly like what I've been chatting about here. Yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, this is the third birthday in a row now that I haven't seen my daughter. It's her birthday today, and I didn't even get a text back, but yeah, that's that's soul crushing for sure. So that was something that threw me out a couple of years ago. I mentioned it before, and I've actually mentioned it on a video last year when I had long hair. So it was before I before I cut all my hair off. So that is something that I I've mentioned before. Watch who you you know partner up with, and make sure it's a forever type of deal. Don't rush into it. You've got your whole life biggest mistake I would say is rushing into things never has a good outcome right yeah so stay focused on stay focused on building what you have if you're young build it now you know follow Alex Hormozzi he'll tell you all about it I'm a big fan of his you don't have much time no one has time right do it early so you have it and then you can live instead of work until you want to live and then end up exhausted. So that is, that's it, yeah. I'm gonna go because I gotta get this up at least, tell you, find people where I've been and finish off a few things around here. The house is good until tomorrow. Pull everything in, cars, bins are already in, chairs are already in, it's been a mad house past couple hours. And that's it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.